There's something that content creators do not tell you, and I'm here to tell you the truth. Hey there, welcome to my visual podcast, Tea Talks. I'm the Tiari, who is also the host. If you haven't already, be sure to check out my other episodes. It's under my Tea Talks playlist for your convenience. But if you're back, hey boo. Now, here's the truth about content creating we hate it. No, no, I'm kidding. We don't. Okay, we don't. Well, at least I don't. But oh my gosh. It is not as easy as it looks at all, bro. I had a friend. So I had this friend who's a photographer and he's trying to get into film. He he FaceTimed me, showing me some clips he was working on and I was giving my pointers on how I think it can improve because obviously these are new grounds for him. And he's just like, I don't see how you YouTubers do it. From all the editing he was doing and not even halfway finished, I'm just like, yeah, editing is not only time consuming, but it's a continual growth process because I could edit something so good to me now, but in a few months, I hate the editing style or the appeal changes. You know what I'm saying? Just with the whole like aesthetic or something. So one of my challenges as a creator and comment down below if you agree with me on this one is constantly being unsatisfied with my content. Like from the re having to constantly rebrand, but I don't know, I kind of like that. I, I like the new looks and stuff, but the unintentional comparing. I feel like I go through this phase of not liking what I'm putting out or what I have already done put out in the past every three or so months. That kind of leads to my rebrand, which drives my friend, who I refer to as my manager, <laughs> crazy. Because I send her thumbnails and banners. So just about every change or seemingly rebrand, she sees it and it's often because I lose interest quick and always looking for a way to make it better. Always looking for a way to make my content, my channel, everything better and more appealing to the audience I'm trying to bring in that I'm striving for. So it just runs her crazy. Like she just be like, girl, it looks fine. It looks good. Like they almost look the same like what's the difference i be knowing i be just spotting the smallest little difference like i could edit something whole and then just go back and change one thing and send her the whole thing again and be like do you like this one better and she's just like what's the difference then plus i also try to match my aesthetic and how i envision things in my head my platforms and it doesn't really work like that for the most part and I say some comes from where I am right now, such as being busy and not being able to be as high maintenance as I am because, I'm, you know, school and rules plus my living space don't really fit what I'm going for either at the moment. Those things in due time will change, but still just like the idea of, oh, if I had this, oh, if I had it this way, then I'd be set, I'd be the su I had a success that I want, I channel on my platform, and that is so wrong. I think starting out as a creator, one of the things you have to do is find the beauty and the authenticity. People actually like that a lot. Like the aesthetically pleasing is nice and appealing, but it's also refreshing seeing people who don't necessarily have it all together as we would think like you know like the white the white canners and the high-rise apartments the luxuries but just still putting out good content i try to be myself and show my personality I try my best to be myself and show my personality regardless of the idea that i'm going for even if it don't really fit that when starting from the bottom so to speak it also shows your growth in your content and it's a motivation to others little do you know like if you're becoming a creator in the hopes of being an influencer then that's exactly what you want to do influence influence others and really show that they can do what you what you do but whatever that means for them even if not the exact same thing like for instance like i make youtube videos i can make youtube videos but it still can influence somebody else to go ahead and start their small clothing business simply because of me putting in the work and putting myself out there without the 
immediate success and viral overnight backstory. It don't happen to any, it don't happen to everyone and if this is something you really want to do, you got to accept that. Can't really fall into the comparing because other story don't write yours. Their strengths may be your weakness and vice versa. You have people that inspire, but you really have to pave your own way and get to where you want how you can, however that works for you. Thankfully, I've come in contact with some pretty cool creators that don't mind dropping advice, or things that helps them, or even just supporting each other, and then I return the love, and just little things like that. Like, it really matters because at the end of the day, this is a community, and we're all just trying to build our smaller communities, but we still are a part of the same one overall. I do like I do like being a part of this community though because we've really been going hard lately like everywhere you look it's about small YouTubers it's about upcoming influencers it's about content creating because like we are really more people are believing in themselves and getting into this line of career path if that's what you look at it as as a hobby and just it's just becoming an interest for more people and it's just so cool to see like everybody just i guess doing the same thing but also in their own little way like it's cool i mean like we are taking over okay how can with other creators subside that comparison tendency as well as you kind of see they experience the same things as you like no motivation sometimes not being completely satisfied with like numbers and views or like content block with no ideas and i think we all get into that funk where we need to take our breaks and reset ourselves breaks are essential especially in this world we live in and how so much negativity is saturated in social media and obviously we are creators on social media platforms so having to be alone that just to promote and put yourself out there while maintaining your own mental health and sanity can become a little draining and i am big on taking breaks okay i'll deactivate my instagram in a minute to the point where my close friends they they don't even ask questions no more if they see my instagram going they already know what it is anything they trying to send me on instagram they just send it straight to my number because they already know because baby one thing i'm gonna do is take a social media break and quick i don't care it could be it could like randomly too i mean <laughs> i did it before I, I did it before years ago and just never looked back. Like, I don't know. It just feels so much more freeing and free of judgment and the feeling of being under a microscope. I don't know. It might be the anxiety side of me too. And it's like no other app gives me that feeling the way Instagram do. I don't know what it is, but Instagram just not the same no more. But, you know, we, we're going to say that for another episode. I don't even want to get in, too deep into that, but... So, being a creator, you have to find a balance in everything. Everyday life and your platform. Knowing what's too personal to post and what's appropriate for your brand. Because a lot of brands take notice into platforms that you might not even think they're looking at and be like, eh, they may not be the best fit or it could be vice versa. They might be the perfect fit because of something they're noticing on a platform that you didn't even think they'll be noticing. So... It just takes a lot of balance and a lot of where you really want to take this in the long run. And also you have to learn like knowing times to post that work for you, how many times to post that works for you, that gets you the views you want, the, the engagement you want, because I'm going to keep it real. Consistency do not work for everyone. Like you really got to find what works for you. And that's the main advice I always hear influencers give. And it has some truth in it, but it also doesn't. Like, there's many people who post literally every day, a couple of times a day, or just frequently and not growing as they want. I felt like that sometimes when I try to be more active seemingly or just, you know, posting more, being more active, then still not really seeing the type of engagement you expect from consistency. But then when I'm gone for a month or something of not really posting, then that's when I go viral. That's when I got 1.8 million views and shares and comments. Like, that's really mostly on TikTok. And it's just like, what? So that kind of blurs the lines of the whole consistency is key thing. 
but I do believe consistency is important. Like you do see a difference in when you haven't posted in a while. See, you see a difference in when you haven't posted in a while, essentially. I say more so on like slow paced platforms though, such as YouTube. Like TikTok is kind of fast paced to me. Like you can go viral overnight, but YouTube I feel like it's more of a kind of growing, you know, unless you just, you know, one of them people that got that viral overnight backstory. But I feel like it's more, you know, just kind of a progress. It's now something else, having a schedule is also important, but only if it's a schedule you can uphold. I can't tell you how many channels I've seen to say like post, post every day or every week in their banner or something and then their last video was like five months ago. <laughs> like try to avoid that. Like that's why I try not to say that or even have that on my channel anywhere because I know for sure but with the limited record time I have right now and edit, editing time ratio alone is unrealistic i can't get that done i've changed that message a couple of times just to not even have that expectation on myself or for others to hold me to that because it's not true i'm not gonna be posting every day i'm not gonna post every week probably so now i have like new videos every week which i try to do but i also have if there's been a delay where i haven't posted a video you know, check out my website, check out my message board, just see what's going on as to why I haven't been posting. So, so I try to keep the ones who are actually watching my videos in the loop of what's going on with my uploads instead of like abandoning my channel from their point of view because they see and post every week, every day and I haven't posted in a while. So you'll actually be surprised how many people notice that and be like, hmm. You know where where's the content where's where's the videos for real i think and that's why i feel like subscribing with notifications on is good to push to and i'm trying to include it more in my videos for y'all to please 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 subscribe and turn on the notifications because i don't want to say i'm inconsistent but i do like i have a flood of new videos flood of new videos and then i kind of take a little short break usually because school probably done picked up or something like that so that's why I'm like, you know, subscribe, turn the notifications on so y'all don't miss it. If you actually are engaged and watching my channel, like, really subscribe. Plus, I'm noticing in my, like, in my, um, engagement feed that a lot of my viewers are from people who aren't subscribed. And it could be the same returning people, but it's still showing not subscribed. So, I want to fix that ratio. I want to fix that number in my engagement to subscribe because i want y'all to be consistent with me like i'm trying to be consistent for y'all i want y'all to be consistent with me so with the whole notifications with the bell on like they'll know when i'm bad you'll know when i'm bad they'll know when you're bad so, us creators we got this though just gotta take a deep breath and keep going like we got it y'all we do it's just sometimes you just gotta vent about it i just gotta get it off your chest because it, it looks so fun and easy on from the outside even while i be watching other creators me even knowing what all it takes i'm just like dang like it just looks like it's so inviting and fun and but it's like at the end of the day some as some people are making it their jobs like it really is a job it takes a lot of work we put a lot of effort into it and y'all gotta give us our flowers i give my flowers to other creators like y'all gotta give us our flowers like we really be trying out here for real I think I kept this short and sweet enough. Main point is give us our flowers, as I just said. Give us our flowers because it's not easy out here. It's not easy out here for real. But because this is something I've been doing since I was little, since before this was actually a thing, before YouTubers was a thing, influence content creators was a thing, I love it. Like, it's really a part of me. I don't think I really ever abandoned it, even if it's just become a hobby like if i don't pursue it as just like a side job or just you know even if i don't be as consistent and just be posting here and there like i really just don't see myself ever just stop recording st some random stuff i do or just talking to a camera because i've been doing it for so long over random things not just for youtube so it's just it's just a part of my little personality i feel like being a creator is really a form of art in my eyes and it's such a healthy fun way to express yourself like you in it for the 
possible money like most professions you may not last long because you really have to like this to have to be willing to keep going through the low views and the little support and feeling overlooked at times but you know one day you'll be exactly where you're supposed to be wherever that is in your journey your deserved success regardless so that that's the truth about content creating y'all use the comment section down below as a discussion board and get into the conversation about your content creating journey how you feel about content creators influencers whatever i know it'd be a lot of opinions about us and you know some people don't like it but hey it's whatever you ain't gotta like me you ain't gotta like me but if you are watching this to see if you should start your content creating journey i'm definitely gonna say go for it have fun and make the best of it for real thanks again for watching tea talks on tuesdays be sure to subscribe and don't miss episode seven because we're actually going to get more into the creator life and content creating and its ups and downs except i'm going to be talking specifically about instagram y'all heard me mention it earlier so oh that app y'all we got to get into it. We got to talk about it. Be sure to follow me on all my social medias. Everything is at only T Ari. I got to shout out my Instagram. It's at only T Ari. Be sure to follow that. If if it's even activated, baby, because <laughs> y'all heard what I said. I deactivated in a minute. So follow it if you can find it. But it is at only T Ari when it's up. And be sure to follow me on TikTok. Now that stays up. So follow me on so follow me on there. Okay, that's it. That's all. Bye.